Hello guys, today we are not going to discuss about any topic, rather we are going to discuss about how to study physiology, right? First question is, why to study physiology? Okay, have you ever wondered why your medical school, okay, in first year is going to start with physiology? See, physiology weightage, okay, when we are talking about the weightage in competitive exams, physiology weightage is not going to be super high, okay? But why we are going to start with physiology and why to study physiology in first place? Because, let's put it this way. When you are building a house, okay, or apartment, what is the most important thing? You are going to start with the foundation. If you are, the foundation is good, then the building is going to last for longer time. Even with calamities, and with like earthquakes, the building is going to resist and stand strong. In the same way, the physiology is going to be the foundation for your entire medical career. If you understand physiology, it will be easy for you to understand the pathological process. First, you have to know the physiological process. If there is any problem to that physiological process, that's what is going to cause the pathology. So, understanding physiology is critical for understanding pathology. Once you understand the problem, the pathology, then you know how to treat it, that is pharmacology. If you combine physio, patho and pharma, okay, the normal process and the abnormal process and the treatment, that's what is the medicine, internal medicine. So, physiology is of utmost importance. If your foundation is good, then your understanding of pathology, your understanding of the treatment protocols are going to be easy. Without having a proper understanding of physiology, it will be very hard for you to understand the other subjects. So, physiology is your foundation. It is your basics. So, that's why physiology is important and that's the reason why your medical school is also going to teach you first physiology in your first year of MBBS. Later. Sir, okay, we have understood the importance of physiology. From where we have to study the physiology? Now we know why physiology is important. Now, from where we have to study physiology, sir? See, here I am going to classify the books into two parts. That is the textbooks and review books. Okay, there are two types of books. Textbooks and review books are the guidebooks. See, textbooks will give you in detail explanation about every damn process. Like about every physiological process, about every step. Textbooks are going to give you that idea. Okay, proper explanation is going to be there. For that, I recommend you two important physiology books, international books, which are famous all over the world. They are Guyton's and Ganox. Both of them are good, no doubt. Guyton is going to have more in detail explanation when compared to Ganox. Ganox is going to be straightforward. Certain places, straightforward things are enough. Okay, if you are having a little bit proper knowledge, a little bit proper knowledge, you can go with the Ganon. Direct straight forward points are going to be there. If you like to know in detail things, everything in detail, okay, receptor level, pinpoint level, then you can go with the Gaita. Okay, both of them are good books. But the point is, it takes a lot of time to go through these textbooks. In first year, it's okay. In first year, you are having a lot of time, five years is there. So, in first year, you are not having any stress. So, you can directly go through these textbooks. No doubt. But when you are approaching your exams, there is no time to go through the entire textbook. Then I recommend you to go through the high yielding books, high yielding topics, which are brought together into one single area by review books. So one such review book, okay, is this board review series. Okay, BRS Physiology Book by Linda S. Costanzo. See, this book, is not going to be a bulkier, it's going to be concise when compared to Guyton and Gano. So it will give you the information mainly useful for the exam. So how the questions are going to be asked in the exam. So such questions are going to be discussed in this book, okay, BRS Physiology. So what I have said you, textbooks are there, review books are there. Textbooks for complete knowledge, in detail explanations. Review books are going to give you only high yielding concept, only high yielding concepts. And one more benefit with the review books is that at the end of each chapter, for example, at the end of the cardiovascular physiology or respiratory physiology or GI physiology, they are going to give you multiple choice questions. 
So if you go through a review book, you know how the questions are going to be asked in the exam. At the end of the day, all competitive exams in medical field are going to be MCQs. Okay, multiple choice questions. So you will get an idea how the questions are going to be asked. So in the first year, read complete textbook and at the end, you can go through the review books. Don't start with the review books. When you have time, go with the textbooks. What are the two important textbooks? Guyton and Ganox Physiology. Done. Next. Sir, okay, we are going through the book. Should you have to do anything extra? Yes, you have to do something extra. What is that? Reading is temporary. For example, you read and after some time, you are going to lose that memory. So, writing is better when compared to reading. Just reading, that will give you a short term memory. You are going to have the memory loss very quicker. But when you write, that's an active learning. Reading is like a passive learning. Reading and listening is a kind of passive learning. But when you write, it is more of active learning. So always try to have a good notes. Because when you are writing, that gives you the muscle memory. And when you are writing, you are going to write only those important points which you need to know. You are not going to write the entire thing, right? You are not going, don't copy the entire textbook. If there is a topic of BP regulation, what are the important points which you should know? Okay, the entire two, three pages should be concise and make into a half a page, only important points. So that when you want to go through the topic again, so when you go through your own notes, it will be very easy for you. Okay, it will be very easy for you because it is you who have written that notes. You are going to recall those points very easily. So always, always have a good notes for effective learning and make that notes in such a way at the end of each chapter please leave two or three pages okay or whatever the page like how many pages you like you just try to leave some pages blank pages because we are continuously learning okay we are continuously learning after physiology whenever you study pathology if you find something integrated okay physiology topic integrated with the pathology and integrated with pharmacology you can always add new points and remember that one point, always maintain your notes till the end of your exams. Your notes, don't say, don't, don't do something like this, make your notes and just in second year throwing the notes away. No, keep that notes till the end of your exams. That is very much important. Okay, next. Okay, sir, you have done the note making and you are trying to integrate as much as possible. When you go to the second year, third year, the points you can integrate. Okay, now next what? Sir, practice. Practice is going to make you perfect. You have learned from the textbooks. You have gone through the review books. And you have your own notes for the concise points, high yielding points. Now what? At the end of the day, you are going to give the exam. In that exam, multiple choice questions are going to be there. So you have to continuously practice the MCQs. It's not just the theory which is important, but the practice, you just put it into the practice. Practice is more important. How the questions are going to be asked. So when you go through the Q banks, there are multiple Q banks available in the market. Okay, different different Q banks are there. All of them are good. Okay, you choose that Q bank which is going to be suitable for you according to your budget. Okay, just choose a Q bank. Many Q banks are available and try to practice. So first year basic sciences like physiology, anatomy, and biochemistry. Try to complete the Q banks of these three subjects in the first year itself. Okay, so that you will have a better idea, better understanding when compared to the, your other students, when compared to the peers, you know how the questions are going to be asked. So continuous practice is important. The reason is if you study, for example, today you have studied some topic and you are good at it. But if you don't know how the questions are being asked, then what is the use? So MCQs are very much important. So do the MCQs either from review books or either from the Banks. So now the, your preparation is completely done. You have gone through the textbooks, you have gone through the review books, you have your own notes with concise high yielding topics and you have done your preparation. So this completes your complete preparation and this is the strategy you should be using for your preparation for the exams. Okay guys, I hope this information is going to be helpful for studying physiology. Thank you.